Hey guys, how's it going? Today I've got a pretty cool circuit to show you. Um, this will be going up on the second channel, so um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and find this circuit useful. So pretty much what it is, it is a mass item counter, or just any sort of counter. At the moment this is doing a bit of a useless count. Um, it is counting from this comparator clock right here, how many pulses it does. But um, yeah, this is this is a pretty cool design, I think. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, and it's actually... The, the output right here um, is going into these two droppers, which I guess is counting how many times it flips over. And uh, yeah, you can see visually uh, all how many items are in each of the droppers right here. You can see how close it is to flipping back over. So, um, how does this work? Well, pretty much the heart of it is a couple droppers right here. As you can see, the items go between one to the other, and it only goes from one to the other, and then once one of them is full, um, you know, obviously the one that it's going into, once this w is full, it will um, go through this comparator and actually turn this on because this is full um, signal strength and it will only turn on if it's full signal strength which is obviously if every item is in here and it will send a pulse through here and flip all of these over so it will actually start dropping from this side to this side and then um, it will read from this side to see when it's full and do the whole thing again so this basically avoids you having to do a reset circuit for your counters and I think it's pretty good anyway um, it's about to flip over here so I will show you uh, what it's like when it flips over and there it is so there was a little bit of server lag there I think um, it didn't exactly it didn't exactly show super well but um, yeah it flipped over and uh, yeah that, that's pretty much how that worked um, if you want to build this for yourself I will possibly put a world download in the description um, I, yeah I, it, just ask me in the comments if you want a world download of this um, I'll have to import it into a separate world. But anyway, um, that's besides the point. Yeah, this is the design. Also, this pink this pink circuit here is not actually required. It is just a nice visual way to see how close you are to flipping back over. Now, of course, if you want to have an even more mass item storage system, because obviously this is 64 times 9 items, which I can't do the maths in my head right now, but that's a lot of items. Um, that you can, you know, a lot of pulses you can get through the comparator. But obviously if that's not enough, then that's fair enough. Um, you can actually run this system into itself. Um, if you put the next system right up here, it'll actually, um, yeah, you can run it straight into itself, which is pretty cool. And, um, yeah, the way you, the way you do that is just by running, uh, literally like this. The repeaters just like that. And I accidentally flipped it over when I wasn't supposed to, because redstone updates, yeah. Um, yeah, but that's that's pretty much how you would um, put it, put another one here, tile it, I guess. And um, also something else to keep in note, these blocks, they don't have to be glass, but they do have to be a transparent block. So they can be uh, glowstone or slabs or anything like that. All of these, obviously the colors aren't necessary, but whatever block you want to put it on, and um, this pink circuit you don't actually need right here. You don't need to include that if you don't want to. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop updating the redstone so it uh, <laughs> stops pulsing and flipping over when it shouldn't be doing that. Um, also, items in the dropper. It actually depends on what you want the uh, amount of items to go between. So you can use um, items that only stack up to 16. For example, snowballs right here. Um, if we just take all these items out you will see that it doesn't actually matter if you take them out and they do stuff like that. It'll um, be perfectly fine. If we put the snowballs in here, uh, you can see that they'll actually go from one side to the other and you'll see this redstone lamp climbing up a lot faster than, um, yeah, than originally. So that's pretty much the whole, that's pretty much the whole circuit here. Again, if you want a world download, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to put that in the description and also reply to your comment with it. Um, but yeah, I can definitely see where this would be applied in Survival Minecraft. I think I might even build this on my Tazcraft world, um, in my Tazcraft base rather, and I think it's pretty cool. 
Anyway, guys, that just about does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, please consider liking, subscribing, whatever. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.